Hey guys, this is Steven. Welcome to the very first uh, director's video diary for Found Footage 3D. Uh, I'm going to be doing these about once a week from here on out uh, as we go through pre-production and production and post. Uh, just to keep you guys abreast of the latest news on in Found Footage 3D land and to show you a little bit of uh, what goes on behind the scenes uh, of making a movie like this. Uh, the primary purpose of these videos, of course, is to uh, keep you posted on the progress of the playoff beard. Uh, which I shaved last week for the first time in three and a half years in preparation for uh, making the movie uh, with the with the um, very stern uh, and solemn promise not to shave again until we sell the movie, whether that be six months or a year or two years from now or, or never for that matter. <laughs> So, what is uh, some of the news from this week? Well, first, uh, the first and biggest piece of news is that we have finally locked in our location for the movie. We're going to be shooting in Gonzales, Texas, or just outside of Gonzales proper, uh, at a little ranch, or not a little ranch, a very large ranch, uh, owned by Justin Meeks, who some of you guys may know as the one of the co-directors of Butcher Boys. That location uh, is where about 90% of the movie takes place, and then we've got some other places. We're shooting a day here in Austin. We're shooting a little bit in a place called Dale, Texas, uh, and we're looking for one more location, which will probably be either in Gonzales or possibly in Shiner, Texas. We had our first official production meeting uh, earlier in the week. Uh, all the heads of our different departments, production design, visual effects, makeup effects, the director of photography, of course the producers and the assistant director, uh, we all got together to talk about the script and the schedule and to talk about about, you know the things that we thought were going to be challenging on which days and to really just sort of go through the entire thing scene by scene in shooting order and try to figure out you know how we were going to go ahead and make this thing I mean there's an impression I think among a lot of people that making a found footage movie means you just grab a camera and a couple of friends and you go out into the woods and you you know roll and hope you get something good and uh, you can make a found footage movie that way but you can't really make a good found footage movie that way this movie, as with any movie, requires a lot, a lot of planning and a lot of hard work by a lot of people over a very long period of time. Uh, we've been living with this script and, and building towards this shoot for two years now. We'll have a crew of about 30 people out there on set living with us for the three and a half weeks that it takes to shoot the film. Six cast members, a bunch of day players. Um, and, you know, we're going to have stunts, we're going to have special effects, makeup effects, all of that kind of stuff. But pretty much all of the things that you need for a real movie uh, except that we're shooting it on a handheld camera. You know, it's a it's a big it's a big undertaking, and it's kind of scary to be completely honest with you. Because you know, uh, making a movie is a little bit like a train, and when it you know when it first leaves the station, it's it's going slow enough that if you need to stop it, you can kind of stop it and fix whatever's broken, and then move on again. But eventually, it starts to gather momentum, and uh, you know it gets harder and harder to stop, and eventually, it's impossible. Um, you know, as we get closer and closer to production, it gets harder and harder to sort of stop this giant train and, and you know, there's shit up on the tracks up ahead and we got to send somebody to go clear it off and hope that it's out of the way before we get there. And then off in the distance, you've got the chute, you know, which is kind of like this giant gaping chasm where the tracks just end. And uh, at the moment, maybe there's a couple planks laid across the chasm uh, that are not going to stop your train from plummeting down into it in a, a giant fiery wreck. So you you know you've got to you've got to build a bridge across that thing while the train is moving and hope that that bridge is is there and solid uh, by the time the train gets there uh, you know so it's kind of scary knowing that that's out there and knowing that you know at this point we're locked in our dates are locked in our our, our locations are locked in some of our actors are starting to get locked in and uh, you know our crew. And, and, and that's it. Like, we have to shoot when we have to shoot, and we just have to trust that everything is going to be ready by the time we get there. Um, and, you know, at the moment, I'd say we're in great shape, uh, but there's still a heck of a lot of work to do and, and, and a heck of a lot of uh, unknowns uh, along the way before we get to that shoot. And, uh, you know, we just got to hope that, not hope, I got to trust that, you know, my crew knows what they're doing. They're good people. They've done this before. They're all professionals. Uh, and they're building that bridge for me. And, you know, uh, by the time that train gets there, that bridge will be solid and maybe it'll be a little bumpy and, you know, maybe there will be some twists and turns we weren't expecting. But, you know, so one way or another, we're going to end up on the other side of that ravine uh, instead of down in it. And, uh, you know, it's good knowing that you have a crew that you can rely on to do that kind of stuff and knowing that they're, you know, people that are really good at their jobs. So uh, that's where we're at right now. And, you know, that's that sort of, you know, it's, it's exciting and exhilarating and terrifying all at the same time, um, you know, and after two years of hard work to finally sort of see 
the uh, the light at the end of the tunnel to mix metaphors, um, <laughs> keeping in the train family at least. Uh, you know, to see that light at the end of the tunnel, to know that all of this work that we've done is is finally going to pay off. Um, it's very very exciting, and I cannot wait uh, to see uh, what the finished product is going to look like. It's just oh man, so cool. So uh, I'm really glad to be able to share this with you guys, and uh, I thank you for coming along on this ride with us. Um, if you have things that you would like to see in these video diaries, please feel free to leave, uh, leave us some notes in the comments or uh, on the Facebook page and tell us what kinds of things you'd like to see uh, in terms of behind-the-scenes stuff, and, um, and, and you know, we'll try to bring it to you as best we can. Uh, in the meantime, like us on Facebook. Um, uh, sign up for the mailing list if you want to get uh, uh, exclusive updates and, and uh, you know, first priority uh, on important news. Uh, and, of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel so that uh, you'll know every time I post a new video and you can keep track of uh, exactly how, how well the playoff beard is coming along. So, see you guys next week.